Hey everybody, Wrestling Mayhem Show, Raw Wrap-Up, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters, doing us just uh, webcam style this evening because, uh, well, we need that, not going to monitor, uh, because it appears that uh, Google Hangout is on the fritz tonight, and I can't connect with anybody, so we're just going to give the real quick solo rundown thoughts on Monday Night Raw, it's our go-home show for money in the bank. I don't even have graphics or anything here today. It's just, we're just going to push this as it is. Um, but anyways, no. It, it was a fun show tonight, I think. Of course, a little bit of channel flipping. First big shout-outs out to friend of the show, Zach Gowan. The One-Legged Wonder was an American Ninja Warrior. You might have checked him out in the 9 o'clock uh, hour there a little bit. Um, again, a good friend of ours. Uh, we did the uh, uh, documentary Finding Zach Gowan with him that's over on Indie wrestling.us of course and uh, it was great to see him do that running a lot more people get exposed to what he's doing but over to raw uh we got started off with a entire half hour well actually we first got uh, uh started off unfortunately with um uh, dedication to um what happened to orlando uh my thoughts of press got to them of course uh, but aside from that, on to the show itself, um, we did get a good half an hour of tag team wrestling um, interactions. First kind of teasing our, our uh, you know, our Enzo and Cass and New Day uh, situation. Uh, the Vaude Villains came out. The Gallows and, and Anderson came out. Vaude Villains, I want to note, are back on the singing streak, at least eight in English. And, and those don't know early on in his career in NXT, um, he would come out and sing to the ring. Um, unfortunately, much like a f somebody we know in the indies, RJ City, I'll leave it up to you. Let me know. Who do you think is better if you've seen RJ City uh, do the sing to the ring kind of thing? Um, uh, you know, in person, on on tape, on on you know, digital download, whatever the case may be, uh, because it's kind of interesting to have that similar uh, kind of mode to your 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 gimmick out there. So, kind of curious what you guys think about that. Uh, but no, I think it was a great to have this like half hour dedicated to to the tag team um, tag team wrestling and what's going to come up here at Money in the Bank with them. Uh, so that's cool. That that, that was pretty good. There are a lot of comments actually on our Facebook. Um, a good discussion kind of going on from, I think Jennifer is our friend's name over there. I'll get it here in a moment. Uh, but yeah, there's too much, you know, it's too much talking on Raw tonight. Or or some people that kind of tuned in late and said, yeah, you know, I'm glad I kind of missed out on stuff. Fast forward through the talking. I thought the talking was pretty good tonight. I th This is the go home to to. to to money in the bank <laughs> jennifer jennifer d is saying uh, uh why why does wwe ha hate his fans so much as to make us sit through this awful hype guy crap not once but twice in an episode for like five minutes you are killing me smalls um and of course referring to the shield kind of get together kind of thing the uh john cena aj style stuff which i thought was actually pretty great for all that's going on, there's pretty major matches going on between Cena Styles, between Rollins and Reigns. Yet we ended most of the last half, of the last part of the show, with uh, the Money in the Bank stuff, which was really a thread through the entire show as well. I think that's kind of interesting. I, I you know, and 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 they're they're billing this as the Money in the Bank, uh, the best Money in the Bank, or or, or however they're phrasing that, um, is curious. Let's, let's roll back for a moment. The Shield, of course. Um, well, I'm thinking because I don't want to lose this point. The women's match happened pretty much during the duration of Zach Allen's time on American Ninja Warrior. That's a curious lineup, I guess it was. And I guess I missed some pretty fantastic uh, commentary from uh, Becky Lynch. So uh, I don't know if I'd go back for it. But kind of curious what they're doing there. Uh, the Shield reunion, quote unquote reunion. Um, I know it turned our friend Jen Carlins into a glass case of emotion, according to the <laughs> Facebook page uh, from our, our friends. And you can join us on the conversation, Wrestling Mayhem Show, on Facebook group uh, or, or the page itself like that as well to get our updates and, and videos that we're posting uh, like this as well. But, um, no, I enjoyed it. And, and it's cool to have them do that kind of throwback uh, kind of thing, uh, you know, have those guys work together in, in, in that regard. Um, um, I think is, is, is pretty is pretty good and, and it's a good build and I love that throwing in that hey Dean Ambrose could just go rogue and decide to spoil everybody's night if he decides to uh, win money in the bank and cash it in uh, I think it's a nice wrinkle it's a nice question mark and I think this whole thing has to be 
relatively unpredictable, right? Like to the point of like this guy can get he can catch him any time he wants, like the main event of WrestleMania, you know. Uh, and and we've seen a lot of different configurations, and I can't recall. Somebody can maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't recall somebody doing that the same night. I could be wrong, but just throwing that out there. Um, also, like I said, AJ Styles, John Cena, um, a lot of interesting indie references. PWG, ROH, and New Japan, of course, gets referenced. Uh, is this the first time PWG has been mentioned on WWE television, mainstream WWE television at least? And I guess it's gonna, that's going to be interesting to distinguish mainstream as in Raw and SmackDown versus NXT uh, swerved, you know, some random documentary from a DVD where we talk about Ring of Honor and CM Punk. You know, uh, I think that's I think that's that's significant for for that. I, I think a lot of new people are going to be uh, typing up uh, in Google some uh, new three letter combinations between PWG, ROH. Uh, and New Japan maybe after tonight. Night. Um, I thought that was a decent promo. You know, Cena really interesting. This this kind of angle on indies putting down the indie wrestlers, but again, he's a heel at this point. AJ Styles, uh, so so I think it kind of fits. And I love the John Cena. I'm not going to go quietly into this new era. I'm going to fight for it, and we'll see what happens. We'll see how this plays out, of course, on Sunday. Um, and other than that, some some pretty good matches. We had Cesaro and Sami Zayn about mid-show and uh, ended with just a giant cluster. I love that everybody weaseled themselves into the main event match between uh, Jericho and Ambrose. That was a lot of fun. And, of course, just anytime you get Owens on commentary, it's, it's good stuff. It, Zayn, as awesome as Zayn is, he can't hold a candle when it comes to that stuff. And he's just that bully. He reminds you of that bully that you can't get a word in edge, edgewise on him. And it's just pretty good and even even flustering the announcers enough that they were making mistakes and just attacking them on those was just awesome so really the 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 despite the complaints the the high points of the night was everybody on the mic was that aspect of things in my opinion for monday night raw uh watchability for monday night raw uh again um x out a little bit that i was uh, keeping an eye on american ninja warrior for our boy zach gowan out there and again congratulations great job there tonight and um i think he impressed a lot of people uh, with uh with that showing of course please go check it out i know it's i think it's on demand on the nbc app probably on the website hulu stuff like that uh as well so go check that out if you're checking this out afterwards at least you know tuesday and beyond i'm sure they'll post it uh somewhere online especially the stuff with zach i'm sure because that was a big that was that was the commercial going into this for the season premiere so it has to be a pretty big deal so let me know about what you think about that kind of stuff uh watchability i'm gonna go to 215 to two hours and 15 minutes uh, and again that's kind of what do we think was a watchable level that we weren't dozing off and not caring about uh, for a good bit of the world. Again, I was into the talking, I was into the stuff, and, you know, I'm kind of about 50% there paying attention to Raw anyway, so I don't know if that helps or hinders or what. Hanging out with you guys on Twitter, hanging with you guys on Facebook, and uh, other stuff going on as well that we're trying to get going. So let us know how much of Monday Night Raw you thought was watchable wherever you found this video whether it be there in the comments on youtube or in the comments over on facebook or just tweet us at mayhem show if you caught us on the audio feed let us know we'll see you guys next time keep it raw